Welcome to Explore Niagara. Today we're going to be talking about the top five free things to do in Niagara Falls. There are many different options, many paid attractions in Niagara, but we realize that many people are coming with your families on a budget and you're looking to enhance your trip with some affordable options. So we got you covered today. So let's get started. Starting with number five, we have the Discover Niagara Shuttle. This will help you connect to the other four ahead of it. So that's one reason why it has to make this list. Um, and that is because the Discover Niagara Shuttle will take you from point to point throughout Niagara County. It'll connect you from the falls all the way to Fort Niagara, take you to places like the Lewiston Center Street shopping area and art park, take you to other uh, things that'll be on this list and different attractions throughout the Niagara County. It has access to Wi-Fi, a 14 mile long scenic route uh, that also has access to a bicycle rack and wheelchair accessibility. And that's actually just the Falls to Fort route. They also have a route to Lockport as well as a four mile state park route. And number four of the best free things to do here in Niagara is the Castellani Art Museum located right here on the Niagara University campus. The Castellani Art Museum features various contemporary, historical, and modern art pieces throughout the ages, as well as a rotating theme of different exhibits. It's also a wonderful place to see all sorts of different events here in Niagara. We definitely recommend it. You can see everything from Andy Warhol pieces all the way to original Frederick Church pieces. It is a wonderful exhibit. So, of course, Art is subjective, and I will say that the Castellani Art Museum has a wide variety of art for everybody. This includes not only things like the abstract art behind me, but the art of theater, a current exhibition on the art of theater design and clothing, art of pottery, art of all sorts of sculpture and mixed media. There's really a wide variety of art for every inner artist. For the number three free things to do here in Niagara Falls, we have Old Fall Street. Old Fall Street is the beating heart of Niagara Falls, the central hub of activity for tourists. It's right outside of the Niagara Falls State Park, and you have many different events throughout the entire year. Some of these activities would include foosball, ping pong, life-size chess out on the street, and events throughout the whole year, including Christmas in July, Rainbow City Pride, events in the holiday season, such as Jingle Falls. Some of the other activities it would include outdoor screenings of films here in Niagara Falls at night and live concerts. And our number two of the top five free things to do here in Niagara is the New York State Power Authority Power Vista Visitor Center. It's sitting right atop the Niagara Power Project, one of the largest hydroelectric power plants in the Western Hemisphere. It produces much of the power for New York City, New York State, and the Northeastern Grid. Here is a free interactive exhibit open year round daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. where you can get hands on exploring the awesome electrical power of Niagara Falls, as well as facts about the geography and history of the region. You even get this amazing view of the Niagara Gorge and Lower River. It's absolutely amazing. And on top of that, we're right across the street from Niagara University and the Castellani Art Museum. So you can do a two for one. Okay, you waited this long, you wanted to know what is the number one, and I think it should be pretty obvious to you, the falls and the state park themselves. Niagara Falls State Park is free to visit and the number one free thing to do here. 
The Niagara Falls State Park is the oldest remaining state park in America, built and established in 1885 by Frederick Law Olmsted, who went on to build Central Park in New York City, parks in Buffalo, all over the United States, and this would be one of its earliest creations. You can see the falls from three main vantage points. Behind me here is Terrapin Point, which is an excellent view of the Canadian Horseshoe Falls, standing right over the edge, just as the falls are cascading over. You have views like Luna Island in between the American and Bridal Veil Falls, where again, you can stand right above where they're falling. You almost feel like you're in the falls. And then you have a place like Prospect Point. Prospect Point is just the other vantage point of Luna Island of the American Falls, one of the oldest views of Niagara Falls State Park, and a beautiful little hidden gem in the Niagara Falls State Park called Three Sisters Islands, where you can stand in between and amongst the class five rapids leading towards the Horseshoe Falls. Beautiful, natural, and definitely the number one free thing to do here in Niagara. We hope you enjoyed learning about the top five free things there are to do here in Niagara Falls. And if you enjoyed this engaging content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to plan your visit, you can visit explore-niagara.com.